if the airplane is caught up with warm updraft of air currents, it may experience an upset, get disoriented or may spin out of control. The winds inside cumulonimbus clouds are unpredictable and can sometimes have speeds of over 200 miles per hour and this will upset the aircraft. I will also explain about those planes that pass through thunderstorms which experience upset and fail to land safely. By using the elevators here, then slowly increase the thrust which will increase the airspeed. Once the airspeed is increased and it is extremely difficult to gain control of that plane under those situations. Because below this tall speed, the lift generated is less than the weight and drag and aircraft cannot fly and it will start falling from the sky. Energy management is about understanding the three types of energies available to generate aerodynamic forces. Aircraft will climb and gain altitude at the cost of crucial airspeed and lift. There are total of 10 steps in stall recovery procedure. For the pilots to recover the airplane from stall, when this happens, pilots can only watch the plane going down from the cockpit but cannot gain any control of the plane. Elevators are used for pointing the nose down. This is the nose down trim position of the elevator. By pushing the elevators to a down position, downward force at the tail is decreased. Push the yoke forward to move the elevators to the down position. The air passing gets deflected, creates a force that will lift the tail up and pitches the nose down. This is the point at which the stall warning goes off. The first thing that the pilot should do is to click the links below to watch my other videos on crash of flight QZ8501. Video what went wrong and how to prevent bad weather related crashes. Video why the pilot did not make a mayday call and how the disaster unfolded. Video what are the 7 most possible causes for bad weather related crashes. Thank you for watching my video.